heard about the people of Jolo. I'd heard about them being serpent handlers. Then I always desired to go. I said, I've just got to go over there and see what they're doing. See if there really are handling serpents. So I got the chance to go one night. And I was sitting in the back of the church and I didn't believe they handle serpents. And the lady that was beside of me punched me. She said, look up I said, that man's got one around his neck. And I looked up there and I thought I was going to hit the floor. But I ended up shouting. And I shouted all the way up front and sat right down on the box. They had a pretty good idea with me. Lord Jesus, we praise you for this service. We praise you, Lord. We ought to be able to stand up for our children any time, but anywhere, any place. If we're called upon to witness for the Lord, well, we ought to be able to call on him. Now, tell the people whose side you're on, because he said, you are my witness. I'm going to sing this song. Now, we need to get in this service just a little more. Yeah. There's more to it than just singing and shouting, handling service. The, there's a deepness of God goes with the thing. Now. Right. And we need to press it to the deepness. I know we get yeah. it hard. Well, damn, but that ain't no excuse.
I wouldn't think about something that wasn't in the Word, or trying to practice it, or uh, tell people to practice it. But I feel like what's in there, we gotta, we gotta believe. And I feel like that what it tells us to do, we've got to do it. If the flesh suffers, it just have to suffer. And they so many will ask you now, particularly about the serpents. Now, some people take the serpents, they'll, they'll call that the signs. Well, there's four or more signs. Not just the serpents. Honey, it takes it all. It really takes it all. Now, the five signs, now the signs is not the gospel. It's the signs of the gospel. But I feel like that when they preach the gospel, that they should believe the five signs and they should practice them. But if somebody gets bit with a serpent, they're trying to be obedient to the word, and they give their life for the word's sake. Well, it's no more than John the Baptist. You know, they beheaded him. Well, now, the law in this area is they, they stand for us. They know our lives. But now some, you, uh, now you take just as close as Grundy, Virginia is, or anywhere in Virginia, they, they're so cruel, uh, they, they don't, uh, they don't like to give a serpent handler uh, freedom for nothing. And they just soon look at you and, and talk mean to you. It's not, it don't matter. And uh, I guess if it wasn't for the law, they'd even knock you in the head. Do you always do this before service? Yes, before we take them to service, we, we worship. We want clean serpents. <laughs> They're nasty enough the way it is. So we try to be clean with them as we possibly can. Danny, does it ever happen that the serpents get used to you? And after a no. while, they don't mind people no. holding them? No, you can't, you can't tame a serpent. <laughs> they, you might keep one maybe if it would live a year, and yeah. it would still bite you. Yeah? Yeah, you are not tame them. Mm -hmm. Well, where do you feed them? feed them. Mm -hmm. Most time when you catch them and they're in captivity like that, they won't eat. They, won't. they eat dirt. Yeah. They yeah. Know that. Sometimes, now we have force fed them before. We but feed them. What didn't we feed them? Mm -hmm. You can get uh, mice and feed them mm -hmm. or uh, raw meat. They'll eat raw meat. Most time when you get them, get them in captivity like that, they won't eat dog. Mm -hmm. Now, can you use any kind of serpents in the service? Or any kind. Yeah. We use any kind of poison. Non-poison we don't use in our service. Does it no. say in the Bible that they have to be poisonous? It says they shall take up serpents. So that's a serpent. I figure you, I guess you could use them, but we don't. What would be the benefit? Well, why do you think uh, the people around here don't understand the church? They got different versions of the Bible, I guess. Yeah. But the Bible should read to us all just alike. There's only one occasion I can remember in school where I had a rough time. It was when I was in the ninth grade. There was a boy that, you know, we were calling us snake handlers and said we were trying to kill ourselves. But my science teacher put an end to that. He said it was everyone's freedom of religion, how they wanted to believe. The Bible says it, and we're trying to live by the Bible. So he says they shall take up serpents. It means they shall take up serpents. So I feel that, uh, to me, if I didn't take them up, I don't think I would make heaven my home. This is my place of worship because everywhere I went, people didn't like you to shout. They didn't like you to worship God like you really wanted to. And the first night I was at Jello, I reckon I danced my shoe heel off. Because I looked around and I didn't have no shoe heel, I danced it plumb off in my foot. And I just began to fit in with the people. Uh, and the way they believed, and they, it's just right down like I believed it. 
I never believed in him and serpents, but I know that it was in the Bible, but I never went into it till I came to Jello. Well, I started a little church at Bartown. Then I just hear the youngers. They'd get to preaching and they'd leave something out. And then the next thing you know, I'd move to another church. They'd leave something out and I'd move to another church. So now that I've come to Bob's and Barb's, that's where I find most of the word, more than anywhere I've ever went. Two years ago, my father was bit Scrabble Creek. He got bit about five times on one hand. And uh, he suffered for five days. We thought he was getting better, but then he died. And uh, we had a serpent hand on the funeral for him. And like we uh, have church. And uh, less than three months, my husband got bit, my first husband, and by a yellow rattler. And he lived about 20 years, and then he died. They both suffered a lot, but uh, there's no way to turn back. Although they died, it's still right, it's still in the Bible, it don't change it. Word. It's really hard these days to find people that really get together and feel each other's love and spirit, you know, and want to really be concerned for each other. But we really have a lot of that at Jolo. Jolo is a very simple place. There's no theater or anything for the kids to go to. It's just closed in around here. When I was growing up, all the youthful things that people enjoy, I had to give up for the Lord. Going to the movies, and there were always dances and proms and rock and roll music. There were engagement rings that I never got to take part in and jewelry of any kind. During the week, I spend a lot of hours alone. I go to the store and to the post office, and that's just about it, unless I visit, you know. I very seldom visit anyone except Mom. My husband works uh, for Number 10 Coal Company, Holly Fuel. I start cooking supper, all, I'd say around 3.30, because he gets home around 4.30, unless he works a double. Two to three times a week, he works double time. Sometimes we go to church during the week, though, during the nights on Wednesdays and Fridays. So that kind of splits up the week a little for me. And a lot of times, Dewey comes down, my uncle, and we sit and talk, and Danny will come up. Danny Hubbard, my cousin, we talk about the Bible and where we're going to church and all the places and people we're going to see. Since Dewey has uh, been on disability from the mines, you know, he takes care of our serpents and gathers them for us, sees to it that we have serpents to handle, takes care of the treasure of the church, the cleaning of the church, he sees to it it gets done. Our church and our friends, it's more like a big happy family. It's not like friends or church at all. It's just like everyone belongs to each other. And I won't be
lot of people think, well, I can handle a serpent, or I can do this, or I can do that, just as good as they can. But it takes a good life, because we've got our life in it. When we take up a serpent, we're holding our life in our hand. Because I can look at that thing and I can say, well, that could bite me and I could die. And if I've got anything in my life, it could take it. We need you, Jesus, right now. With your mighty power. Oh, God, send your power, Lord. Oh, God, touch it, Lord. We do pray right now. We beg you just to move up. Oh, God, help us tonight, Lord. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, we beg you tonight, Lord. Send your victory, Lord. Move upon him with your mighty power. Oh, God, touch you, Lord, and ask you right now, Lord. Oh, God, we beg you right now, God, to touch you, Lord. Oh, Jesus, 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 when I got here, we'd already received the call that he was being. So they began calling people in, like we do when somebody is being. The whole church usually comes. We get together and we sing and we pray. Mostly we pray. And we've had to pray, I think, about... Must have been about five times tonight we've prayed. And we're probably throughout this morning, this morning right now, Probably throughout the morning we'll be on and off praying and singing. What time did you get this? Okay. Jesus, 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 Jesus
Why do you think you got bitten? Well, I think I got bitten. I don't know why I got bitten. Why did you get bitten? Well... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Oh. It's God's will in him to get bit where I look at it. So... It's up and God whether hurt us or don't hurt us or kill us or what have you. He's our maker. He's telling um, the Lord gives us and the Lord takes us. And he gives us our life and he takes it. And he gives us our health and he can take it. <laughs> I say the devil's got something to do with it. He permits the devil to. The way I look at it. Because all good things come from God, but uh, he permits the devil to do things. Were you afraid last night? No. After you were bitten? No. No, I didn't care what happened. I didn't want to hurt, baby. I didn't care about dying or nothing like that. You're not afraid of what? No. But I was still a long time. When my time comes to die, that's the way I want to die, anyhow. Yeah. And when my time comes, that's the way I want to go. But I don't want to be, you know, no, I'm no hurry for it. Is this the worst fight you've had? No. Looks pretty bad. It's, it's hurt. It's hurt, man. It's, it's really hurt. It's still hurt. And now I'm yet all over and tingling all over you. When you're a quick thing, man. My eyes were dry. I couldn't talk too good last night. Could couldn't get my mouth open. Man. Talk too good. Dewey, how many times have you been bitten now? It'll be 68 times. 68 times? And that's over about 20 years. That ain't too bad. Not too of course, bad. Of course, some people have them for 30 years and don't ever get bit at all. I don't know why. Why do some people get bitten and not others? Well, I don't know about that either. Just uh, like say, well, I wish up and God was about you or not. So when, when you get bit, then is it the devil's work or God's will? Well, it's God's will, but it's the devil's work. <laughs> then we're going to start taking some of these bites for them. That's right. Oh, right. I'm fine with it. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> needs to take some of them. Well, you see, my daughter died from a serpent bite. And, um, but now, though, we offered her a doctor, and she refused. I believe we offered her a doctor about three times. And in my heart, where I wouldn't have, in my heart, I really wanted her to ask for a doctor. Where I wouldn't have, uh, accepted no uh, aid like that at all. I wanted her to. Really deep down in me, I, d I didn't want to give her up. She was mine and I loved her very much. And uh, just anything to have kept her here. Even though you know God's God 
and he's real. You know what he can do for you. And all power is in his hands, and he gives life, and he takes it. Still, you want to try everything that you can to keep one with you as long as you can, too. Do you mourn for somebody who's been serpent bit and died? Oh, yes, honey. I, the loss of them is all. Now, today, I, it's just as fresh in my memory of losing my daughter. That's something you, you never get used to. You just have to learn to live with it. But now, my, my daughter or any of my brothers and sisters in the church that uh, die like that, it hurts me. It hurts me a lot. And you know that it has to uh, my own child. And I'll, I'll take spells, you know, I, I'll think, yeah, I can see her coming, or I'll imagine, you know, I see her, and I desire to talk to her. And uh, a lot of times, me, just here myself, I shed a lot of tears about her. But you know, I know that, uh, I know too she's safe, I feel that she's safe. It's not that I'm worried about her soul or anything. I feel like it, that she is really, really safe. I feel like she died right in the Lord. But still, that don't keep me from missing her and having her around. I say, <laughs> it's God's will like I got bitter, yeah. I wouldn't have been bit. Do you think God wanted you to suffer? Yeah, he could have yeah. or he could have stopped suffering. Do you think he meant for you to suffer for a purpose? Yeah, but we're not supposed to question it. I've never questioned uh, God on everybody that I've ever had. Do you try to live better after you're bit? You I better live good for you. Hey. Yeah. You better live good for you, you get bit. <laughs> to me, eternal life is something that's more greater than anything we can have in this life. It's the hope of glory. You know what? There's, There'll be no more sorrow, no pain, no trials, no temptations, no things to go through with. If we can just live to the place that we can have eternal life. A lot of people talk to you sometimes, and they'll ask you if you have to handle a serpent to uh, go back with him when he comes. I tell them they have to take the word. The Bible says this, the believers, the sign to follow the believers. But it still tells you in another place, all on belief would have its part. So according to the word, you pretty much have to have to have it. I speak to them like this. I say, I've got to do it. I've got to. For those people who are not accepting them, but I've got to. I've done it too long and maybe too many times you sit up and say, I quit. <laughs> Sick and talking in tongues and camping out there, it's not the gospel. 